the day. The drawing of the day sculpture. In this video, you will learn how to apply knowledge of bodily proportions and anatomy to drawing a reclining male figure. The model for this drawing will be a marble sculpture depicting an anthropomorphized day, which is part of the Medici tomb decoration. Together with the figure of night, it was carved by the famous sculptor Michelangelo Buonarroti. I will make a quick preliminary sketch of the Medici Chapel. Later on, we will move to the studio where I will work this figure on a larger scale. I deliberately chose this point of view, where the figure is seen in perspective. It is more challenging to draw. I want to show you that knowledge of the proportions and anatomy of the human body will help you drawing figures, even in challenging poses. This will be a very quick sketch, so I don't intend to use an eraser. Any mistakes can be fixed by drawing over them. For example, you can see that I placed the shoulder incorrectly when I started drawing. This doesn't matter much. I just drew the shoulder in the correct position and continued the sketch. Such disposable preliminary sketches are very helpful in studying the figure's proportions and composition before attempting a longer piece. This sketch is almost complete. It might not be perfect, but it provides a very good understanding of the figure's pose and proportions. It will help me create a better final piece when I'm back in the studio. So, let's begin the drawing. I will mark the outermost edges of the figure. To measure the relative positions of these marks, I will use the angular method. As you can see so far, I'm not drawing the figure, but rather a polygonal shape, which inscribes the edges of the figure. You have not seen this drawing method before in this course. That is why I would like to describe it, so you have more knowledge and tools at your disposal. Angles can be measured first on the model, and then in the drawing using a pencil to indicate the degree of tilt. The right foot is less foreshortened. We see it from the side. This gives a characteristic outline to the heel and arches of the foot. You should make your pencil strokes in various directions. Although it is possible to make a tonal drawing with strokes only going in a single direction, it will look more attractive and interesting when you use a wider gamut of pencil strokes. Gamut is the variety of pencil marks. These can be made in a variety of directions, for example, vertically, horizontally, and diagonally, as well in combinations of straight and curved lines, short and long lines, parallel and cross-hatched lines, and so on. The whole artwork develops gradually and looks complete at all times. If you can stop working on tonal values at any time, and the drawing looks complete, even if not wholly finished, you are rendering correctly.